Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, my friends. How you doing this Friday? The weather's, the sun is shining. There's plenty of light. A new day is dawning, all of that kind of stuff. We're ready to go. Lisa won't be able to make it to the show today, so I'm going to carry the whole thing by myself. Um, leave that door open. So this gets cooked in here. So I'm going to sit in the big chair, wee, and do the whole show by my, oh, here she is. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're live, we're live, we're live. And today we do have a topic. The topic is <clears throat> what do you want to get better at? You know, the, I'm thinking the topic today, is there one skill in your life that if you had gotten good at, your life would be better? For example, for some people that skill could be, if I had ever learned how to manage my money better. Or if I become an expert at managing money, mm -hmm. my life would make so much difference. Some people could be, if I could ever learn to sing, or if I could ever become a great public, excuse me, a public speaker, they would, they wish they had that gift. They wish they had that skill to speak in public. Is there oh. one skill or gift that you wish you had or could get in great abundance? What would you love to become so much better at? What is that one skill that'll do it for you? And we're going to talk about it right here. Back in a Good morning, my name is Brian McNeil. And I am Lisa Santiago McNeil. And thank you for joining us on our show, Let's Talk About It. We come to each Monday through Friday right here on the SIBN Network, on iHeartRadio, YouTube, TuneIn, as well as Facebook Live. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Like, 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 like. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Like, 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 like. Thank you for joining us this morning at Let's Talk About It with the Empowerment Duo. I am... Lisa Santiago McNeil. And I am Brian K. McNeil. And together we do, like Lisa said, make up the empowerment duo. You know, um, I got so motivated this morning. I was listening to an interview by Mark Cuban. Mm. He was being interviewed by Patrick Bet David. And the interview is probably a year old, a year or so old, but it was so good. Mark Cuban, I watched a 10 minute clip of it, then I went back and tried to watch the whole thing. And it was just so good. But one of the questions that came up, um, Pat asked Mark, uh, what do you think entrepreneurs need to have in order to be successful? And Mark was, Cuban was quick with the answer. Two things, um, willingness to get smarter and work harder. Mm -hmm. Get smarter and work harder. What do you mean get smarter? There's a lot of things in business that you got to learn. Are you willing to learn what you need to learn? Are you willing to learn? I mean, Cuban was talking about even, are you willing to take a community college course on something? You know, pay the $99 to learn the accounting that you need for your business. Mm -hmm. That's what Mark was advocating. Absolutely. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Dr. Deborah. Hey, Katura. Good morning. Good morning Good to morning, you. Good morning, Shirley. Shirley, in your life, if they th is there any one particular skill that if you were to get so much better at that thing, your life will be better? How about you, Dr. Deborah? Is there one skill or, or talent or gift that you wish you had? Again, like I mentioned before, some people wish they could learn faster, uh, present better. Public, Public speaking. speaking without being nervous. Yeah. That's actually a big one. That makes a difference. It really Absolutely. does. Absolutely. That makes a difference. Sometimes some of, so the thing is, some of the things that you take for granted are things that other people wish they knew how to do. Yeah. Other people wish they knew how to do public speaking is a major one. Mm -hmm. um, it has a lot to do with, um, I mean, public people who, are, who can speak in public oftentimes become the leader. Okay, if you can speak in public, you become the leader of this project because you can speak in public. How did Dr. Martin Luther King become the leader of the Montgomery Bus Boycott? Because he was a heck of a preacher. <laughs> and the ministers that rallied together, well, this guy can preach. So we need someone that's going to be out front and going to be able to talk a lot. And he became Martin Luther King because he had this gift of preaching. So what skill do you want to get better at? Is it public speaking? Is it better at cooking? Better at cooking baking? Cooking is another one. There's so many people wish they could cook better, okay? Or want to get cooked better. Or want to, they, they watch the videos. 
They play in the kitchen. They burn down a kitchen or two, which is which is a requirement to become a great cook. Okay. <laughs> you know, great cook has ever become a great cook without burning down a kitchen or two. <laughs> Or at least a small kitchen fire. I've had mine. <laughs> <laughs> Effective, Effective communication. communication. Amazing. Absolutely. John C. Maxwell does definitely tout the importance of effective communication. That guy, Brian K. McNeil, says communication is one of the top two most important skills. Uh, and he breaks communication down into five different facets today. Communication, he calls it this way. Um, uh uh, speaking. You got to be able to articulate a thought so that they can understand it. That doesn't mean using industry jargon and big words. You got to be able to articulate a thought that they can understand it. Listening. You listen yourself into way more than you talk yourself into. Yes, you do. Your clients will tell you what they need if you're willing to listen. Speaking, listening, comprehension is another part of communication. A lot of people are not good at explaining what they want or need, but that can't be the showstopper for you. And we go to the fourth criteria and my five steps of communication. The fourth one is questioning skills. Questioning skills, skillful in being able to ask the right questions at the right time. I personally lean on the Rudyard Kipling quote. I had six honest serving friends. They taught me all I knew. The names were what, where, when, which, why, and who. Those six W questions that you can add how to it. But the skillful use of those questions has a lot to do with your ability to effectively communicate. And the last one is written. And written is only today. Emails and text messages, they have to make sense. That's all. But effective communication, if we all got better at that, you can move mountains with effective communication. Absolutely. You could also cause calamities and disasters with ineffective communication. Yeah. That's in not what I said. <laughs> ineffective communication can take the form of hearing something the wrong way, mm -hmm. saying something the wrong way, interpreting something the wrong Big way, time. and not asking more questions about All what of that. you thought you heard. Ineffective communication causes problems. Ugh. It really does. Even if it's unwitting, even if it's not on purpose. It really does. <laughs> That's a biggie, Katura. Thank you for that contribution. It really does. I'm still, I'm still kind of uh, reeling from an unnecessary uh, misunderstanding that was never given the opportunity for clarity, and um, it this took place six years ago, and it was only brought to my attention yesterday, almost wow. as a happenstance. And, oh, it's not even a big deal. And we found out that it, well, at least to me, it was a big enough deal because the the thought hurt my character as far as I'm concerned. Something that happened six years ago was probably was just a misunderstanding. It was a misunderstanding. An ineffective communication is what happened. Okay. Uh, someone interpreted this and it was that. Okay. That that hurts right there. That's an, a major skill. How do we get better at communicating? Wow, that's a good one. I think one one thing you can do to get better at communicating is to simply read more. Because if you read more, you have to uh, receive and comprehend, you know, and you also get the chance to um, flex and get better at words. I'm going to say something that's probably not even on here. Um, Dr. Deborah said, I wish that I could do creative narrative writing really? as well or as easy as I can do technical writing. Wow. Amen. Amen. That's major. That's something that we can study. So, um, oh, I lost my thought that quick. It'll come back. Mm. It'll come back. I was getting to hear it, too. I know. What did I say? <laughs> he said, um, this might be not even mentioned yet. And there's one thing. Then come back yet. I wanted to come back too. So, um, yeah, uh, makeup. When Lisa was doing her morning makeup, uh, we as we're out and about, we very often bumped into someone that says, I tune in to watch how you put on your lashes and how you do your makeup. Even Commissioner Leak was one. <laughs> Everyone, I'm looking at you put on your makeup because some women were never taught and they taught for themselves the whole time and they figured it out as they go. And sometimes they go a long time and never really quite figuring it out. Mm -hmm. But Lisa's really, really good at it. And even that is something that I realized that, 
you know, I took for granted. I took for granted putting on makeup. I took for granted. I've been putting on makeup since I was 15. And I came from a long line of beautiful people who also knew how to put on makeup. Many people didn't have the benefit of aunts that wore makeup properly or mothers that wore makeup properly versus... Because uh, makeup hasn't really been around for very long. Well, even though I know that you're really, really good at it, but I've seen you watch a tutorial here and there. Oh, yeah. I still study to show myself approved. Mm -hmm. And you better know. It's some new stuff. Matter of fact, I bought some new makeup yesterday because there's some new stuff that is out that does different things that as you get older, you need to upgrade some of the techniques that you use because some of the styles change. And in order to stay current, you got to kind of watch what's going on and stay current. I'm going to tell you, both Lisa and I are studiers. Anything that we, that interests us, we both will study it. We'll go to YouTube. We'll go to Google. We'll look it up. You know, that's what we do. We study stuff. Thank you, Shirley. She says, Lisa, your makeup is beautiful. Thank you. It is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm telling you, it really is, it really is important to be a willing learner. Mm. Sometimes just accepting that something may not necessarily be your strength and having a willingness to reach out to someone else and get support. Amen. Amen. We're talking about what's one skill or a gift or something that if you learn how to do that much better would make your life better. What is what's something? Anything else? We've gotten speaking in public. Uh, we've gotten becoming a more uh, creative slash narrative writing skills. Um, that's the thing, too. I used to know someone who was a technical writer. OK, she wrote textbooks mm. and she wrote um, company guidebooks. Mm -hmm. But to write a fun letter could not do it. She that could. part. <laughs> See, and I, I, I definitely understand you got to have it takes different sides of the brain. It also because you one is logical, one is creative and you got to be able to mesh or um mesh or utilize both. That's why sometimes, sometimes it's important to do them in separate um, times. So you can write your technical outline and then step away from it mm. and then come back to it and add your flourish to it. Amen. Dr. Deborah says, I would like to be able to have better style, to, have, to be able to style myself better, yeah. especially for my body type. I need someone to measure me and do the shopping for me. <laughs> you want somebody to do everything for you? Well, uh, she you mentioned a style team. Amen. I would like to be able to style myself better, especially for her body type. Yeah. She recognized her body <clears throat> type may not be traditional. Absolutely. And let me tell you that I have found um, a couple of uh, well, a couple of techniques that help with that, actually. And that is instead of shopping traditional shopping like everybody else does you go to the main number of places and i know dr deborah's her eyes are glazing over because she just doesn't like to shop i go and i try to follow people that have the same body structure as me so i'm not following this girl because i'm not shaped like this i'm following this girl who is stylish and fashionable but she looks like me demona i was i mean cat i was gonna say the same thing my suggestion for that, Dr. Deborah, is to find someone that you know is a style diva that pays attention to it all the time. Absolutely. And, and hang out with her for an afternoon Absolutely. or go to lunch with her or go shopping with her. Uh, if you was around, I would say go with Demona. Or let Demona shop for you. She has actually bought some pieces from Demona the Brew. Absolutely. Couture says being more personable. I think that that's definitely a characteristic. That's um, one of the characteristics of highly effective people and one of the characteristics that is shared also by Andy Andrews in um, The Noticer is that if you want to excel, if you want to go places, you need to have the people in position who want to have you around. Mm -hmm. How do you have them want to have you around? Being personable, being professional, if being one would positive. Have more friends, one must show themselves to be Friendly, friendly. Yep. absolutely. Um, <coughs> Madam CJ Carolyn Jones Jones <coughs> is another person who spends her livelihood on style. Absolutely, her livelihood is based on style, um, clothing, 
accessories. That's her life livelihood. There are people like that um, to help you out that way. But you know, it'll make a difference. It'll it make, a make a difference. And a um, um, and you know, let me add this one more thing about style. It's very likely, Doctor Deborah, that your style is unlike anybody else's. Like no one else may have your style. And so talking to a professional stylist, someone like Demona, and that can kind of learn a little bit about you, can help you find your look. One of the key elements to style is one that is very, very underrated and undernoticed. It is confidence. Dion, uh, Dion uh, Sanders, mm -hmm. he said it. Oh, my goodness. I wanted him to say it again. He said, he said, the reason why you don't look the same when you wear this suit is because you are missing confidence. Oops. He said, the reason, if people walk up to me and say, what, what, what's that cologne you're wearing? I'm not wearing any cologne. I'm wearing confidence. You, your confidence. I could put the same outfit on one day and the same outfit on the next day, and it looks totally different because of the way I feel when I'm wearing it. Confidence has a big big part in how you carry off any outfit. Dr. Deborah says, Kat, you are right. Demona has actually chosen some pieces from me to purchase and they look beautiful on me. Look at that. She's my go-to move. The only thing that you all, that we all have to remember, especially those of us who are of different dimensions, shapes, and sizes is, um, um, what do you call it? Alterations are our friends. Mm -hmm. Alterations are our friends. Buying something that doesn't fit us is not our fault. It's the fact that the people didn't know us when they made it. And they so didn't think about they you. They didn't think about you. They didn't know that you were four foot eleven like me. They didn't know that you needed more um more room in the booty. They didn't know <laughs> that you needed uh some way to camouflage the belly. So understanding your own body type will definitely help with that. First, Melissa says, good morning and official happy Friday to everybody. Yes, that's right. Because the motor thought, I mean, Melissa thought yesterday was Friday. Amen. 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 I knew it was Jada, coming. He wanted to get in there first. Okay. I knew it was coming. I thought it was going to be Melissa. But okay, George, he said it's Friday and I'm giving a shout out. To the Cuda Biscuits. You need to put them on your menu. <laughs> Funny. But Lisa anybody also says, Demona DeBru is awesome Absolutely. at accessorizing. Absolutely. I've had her do paparazzi shopping for me, too, and I always get compliments when I wear her stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to tell you, we're shouting her out. I hope she could pop on today. Demona DeBru, I really hope she can. But um, um. For years, I've I've bought Lisa beautiful accessories and beautiful clothing with her help. My trash can is not in the right place. Was you moved your trash can? No, I didn't. You did when you took out the trash. That's true. Time. That's true. I moved it. So anyway, um, but she knows Lisa, and she knows Lisa's style, and she likes Lisa. That's another thing, <laughs> and she likes me, so I can talk to her about what I'm thinking, and she can help me. Brittany Thomas, good morning. Brittany, is there any one particular skill that you wish you could be great at? You know, we talk but about that one skill get better or at. better at that would make your life better. You know, we mentioned a few things already, like the ability to save money and manage money. Uh, that would have been a great one. If I wish I had learned that when I was 17, when I first joined the Army. Good morning, Stephanie. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Yeah, you know what? How about... The number one thing that we learned in the Bible that is the best thing, the best skill to get better at, and that is wisdom. If we could get better at wisdom, then we could get better at everything. How do you get wisdom? Through experience. How do you get experience? Mistakes. <laughs> well, or failures or drops. Absolutely. But uh, King Solomon asked God for wisdom. Yes, and he, he did. granted it unto him. And he also granted him great, rich, great riches as well. But then that's it's, it's more it's more wisdom is to me is a pursuit because um, where do you go to get it? Melissa says so about the kudu business. Here we go. I shared this term with six people six yesterday. Six people yesterday. Six people, and the reactions were so funny. I will screenshot you both the responses I got from two of my best friends. They couldn't have been more opposite. 
<laughs> one friend didn't even know the word cuda and asked if it was an English word. <laughs> so shout out to Sophia President. Maybe she can come through today too. Absolutely. Sophia and President and the said, And the other friend is now calling herself a cuda biscuit. <laughs> Different responses. Oh my goodness. Stephanie said, I would like to get better at math and understanding Look the numbers. Math and understanding the numbers. Amazing. You know, these things, you know, you're right. You're right. Uh, Brittany says, hey there, Melissa. Brittany, which one you said, yeah, that's a great one. What, which one were you talking about? Brittany? Wisdom. Is what wisdom. I said, okay, wisdom. wisdom. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now, tomorrow, Lisa and I are going to be in Raleighwood, Raleigh, North Carolina, to do the In the Black Entrepreneur Summit. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. We're going to do that in Raleigh on the 22nd with amazing speakers and content. Our thought leaders, and on November the 19th, we're going to be doing the In the Black Entrepreneur Summit here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And that's one thing I would like to get better at um, putting on the Entrepreneur Summits, filling the room, securing sponsors. That's a skill that I want to learn how to get really good at. Absolutely, absolutely. That I want to get good managing at. money that Brittany said, and managing money. Amen. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Most adults earn more than a million dollars in their working life. Okay. But they don't retire with a million dollars, but they brought it in. Okay. That's it. Absolutely. $50,000 a year for 20 years is a million bucks. What skill do you want to? 25000 a year for 40 years is a million bucks. Yeah, you bring in the money. Is there anything else, particular skill or gift that you wish you had that would change the arc of your life? Hmm. How about, um, I always go back on this show here to the book Siddhartha, the three things that the monks study for their whole lives. They study just three things their whole lives. They study how to think, they study how to fast, and they study how to wait. That's it. If you learn how to think, you know, you can handle pretty much anything. If you learn how to fast, you don't let your... And they fast from everything, not just food, okay? They learn how to fast from um, their sexual desires. They learn how to fast from food. They learn how to fast from um, perversions and um, what do you call it? Uh, not if you're, if you're predisposed to drinking or smoking or whatever. Uh, anyway, whatever that term is. But they don't let those things... You know how to fast. So you don't let your passions or you let your urges dictate your life <coughs> and learning how to wait learning wait how to wait on. yeah and they think and then i asked my i even asked my homeboys one time look this book i just read this dude i thought was not going to feel it okay because he's kind of like you know thugged out and he, i told him what the three things where he goes you know what i think that book is right if you learn those three things you can make your way through life wonderfully well and he say wonderfully well. He says that's what if you learn how to wait and think and fast. Wow, it's true. It really is true. Um, Katura said it's difficult when you have so many personalities. When you <laughs> yourself have so many personalities, Split or is personality. man managing people difficult when you have so many personalities? Amen. Melissa said the skill I want to get better at is selling my services. Pretty sure I know a dude who can help me there. I would love to help you there, uh, Melissa Price. But managing people, Katura, uh, let me say something about that. Often I tell my clients, you know, especially my clients who want to accumulate other clients, there are going to be some people that you have to talk to and deal with with a very, very soft touch because that's all they can handle. Would it be convenient for you? Would you mind? Would it be okay? And then there's people on the far end of the spectrum that you have to deal with with a very firm touch. Look, don't do it anymore. Do it like that, okay? Because that's how they want to be communicated. And between those two extremes, you got everybody else, and everybody else has a different personality. So what you got to get good at is what I call leadership skills to determine a person's style, and you can determine how you can lead that person. Leadership skills. When it comes to managing people is what you should study. I read a book called On Leadership by a guy named Warren Bennis. And it was really, it really opened my eyes to different ways to manage people. 
Another book I got that helped me manage was No Bull Sales Management. No Bull Sales Management is what another book I read. No Bull. It was great. No Bull. <laughs> no Bull Sales Management. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm telling you, I think there are still a lot of things that we still want to get better at that we haven't even touched um, the surface of. And I'm still trying to bring back my mm. thought. <laughs> it's evading me. But uh, I, I, it's evading me. Last night, I did a webinar, a public webinar last night. It started out, we was talking about what are you going to do with all those leads you already have? But we ended up getting into other things, too. And it was really, really refreshing. And one of the guys that was on there is an insurance salesman. He's in the, He's been in the game a long time. And he was stuck in verbiage and ways that they've always used to sell. If you're trying to, Lisa mentioned earlier, she's learning to upgrade her makeup techniques and products, upgrading it, you know, because there's new stuff out there. And this guy was still using terms like, pitches and deals and payments and down payments, you know, ideologies and phraseologies that don't work today. You can't do it today effectively the way you did it 20 years ago. You're going to have to upgrade your knowledge base, like a lot of you guys are kind of mentioning, and the way you do it, your techniques, you can't even do it the way you used to do it. You got to upgrade. Amen. Uh, George Allen says, talking about clothing, I can't find any good haberdasheries in Charlotte. We have a gentleman that has an amazing haberdashery um, for accessories, and that would be David um, David Frankel. He has accessories mm -hmm. in his um, in his kiosk. But uh, William... I have a haberdashery, in, um, but he lives in uh, Greensboro, Charles. Um... Charles Hicks, I think. And he's really, really great. He came with us when we gave out all those suits and he helped those young men. Yeah. Um, but I was talking about the other guy. Um, I think he still has a haberdashery. I think it's William Williams. Uh, he has oh, a well, yeah, 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 yeah. He came and spoke one time. Yes, he does. He makes suits and all of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Willie, William Williams. Yep. William Williams. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's in Charlotte. Um, let me tell you something about my man Charles in Greensboro, though. He has been doing this cool thing he makes these little suits that fit on dogs, okay? Just the upper part, a dog suit. And they look so fly. And I think they look cool in pictures too. And I gave him some tips on how to market and sell that thing. But I think that's a pretty good idea because he, he got fabric, he got materials, and he took pictures of his handsome dog with these suits on. A shout it out, motivation and inspiration for your life. Order your books. I'm living my blessed life with cerebral palsy and don't let the wheelchair Fool ya! Handmade bracelets made by Brittany Thomas. I can also be booked for your next event to speak or minister. Go to Brittany's Beads and Books.com. It's a shout out for Friday because today Love is it. shout it out. Love it, Brittany. Good job, my sister. That's right. Mention that you're available to be booked to speak or minister. Melissa, Melissa said, What is a habnashery? What in the haberdashery and hemoglobin is going on <laughs> here? <laughs> what is a haberdashery? Well, they make clothing. Handmade or custom made. Clothing. Clothing. Okay. Particularly but, for men. Haberdasheries are typically for men. And it's a fun word to say. <laughs> haberdashery. <laughs> what in the haberdashery and hemoglobin is going on <laughs> That's <here>. Tony Baker. <laughs> <laughs> that is Tony Baker. Mm hmm Yep. Uh, if you don't know who Tony Baker is, he's a comedian. He does like voiceover work too. And Absolutely. He makes us laugh, you know. Absolutely. Especially when he's doing cats and dogs and stuff. Absolutely. Who's that there? Shawnee Smith, 622. She says, I love you too. We love you too. And we actually had Kendo Spice. Let me tell oh you. Oh my God. Uh, our friend Shawnee Smith, who just popped in the room, she um she makes spices. That are not only tasty, but they're nutritious. And her company is Ken Do Spice, K E N D O Spice, Ken Do Spice. And because um, those spices can do anything, and, and but they're nutritious <laughs> too. They're not just for the taste. But let me tell you, in uh, Virginia Beach, she gave Lisa gave me a gift box. It was my gift box that had the Ken Do Spices in it. And uh, Lisa made a shrimp dinner the other night. Shrimp and peppers and rice and 
all that onions and all that kind of stuff. And she used some Kendu spice shawnee. Let me tell you, it was different. I, mean, I love my wife's cooking. It was different than anything she ever made before because of your spices. And Absolutely. it was freaking delicious. Absolutely. Put in your link, Shawnee. Today, shout out Friday. Put in your link if someone else wants to try your stuff. Please, please, please do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Melissa said it's a fun word to say. I wasn't sure if um, if, it was a cousin. if it was a cousin to the Kuda Biscuit or what. Never heard that word before. No, the Habitat Streets and Kuda Biscuits are not cousins. However, if you have a good haberdashery, you're likely to get yourself a Kuda Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brittany says, your message touched me the other morning, Mama Lisa. Thank you so much. You're very, it's very, very nice welcome. to give flowers, Brittany. Thank you. You're very, very, very welcome. I am telling you, uh, Chef Rev, you said that book is exactly right. I don't know what book is that. Um, bleh. Melissa said, do we get a mindfulness card for the weekend? We should. Let me go to get it. Let me go to get it. Finish talking to the people. I will finish talking Talk to, to the people, people, but you don't have to Hi, Chef. do that Hi, now. Chef. Hi, Chef. <laughs> God. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> so anyway, um, she wants those spices. Yes, Dr. Deborah Dunstan wants those spices. So Shawnee, please, please, please post your link to your site where people could do it. Dr. Deborah, um, you're gonna like them, Dr. Deborah. We they come in these little tins, and uh, we've got like six of them, maybe seven of them. I don't know, but we got a bunch of them. And uh Lisa did a pinch of this and a pinch of that, and she hooked it up. <laughs> Good morning, Bobby. Hey, how you doing? That's a name I haven't seen in a minute. I used to see that name more often. Did you find it, baby? You're going to need the weekend to find it? Good. I'm jack you up. Jack you up. You got me crazy. I got you crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, you think I'm crazy? Anyway. So I don't have my typical mindfulness cards. I actually have the manifest anything cards, but we're going to go ahead and choose from these cards. Um, Shawnee's link for the candle spices is can do. Is it in the uh, dash there though? I thought I had it on my desk. Uh, Shawnee, just type it in there. We'll go ahead and share it so we can share it because it's dot shop. It she may not be there. She and might I be can't, gone yeah, you might be going already. I don't know, but but I if Shawnee comes Shawnee. back, please, please put your link in there. Mama Lisa is gonna jack you up. She is your queen now. <laughs> <laughs> jack you up. <laughs> jack you up. Uh, but um, she's found a card, so we're gonna uh -huh. do a card, okay? Melissa asked for a card. Lisa found one. Absolutely. This is a manifest anything card. They're a little bit different than the amazing mindfulness card. The image on there is fire, and the the uh, it says it will be it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. And that comes from 1 Corinthians 3.13. It's in what, Shani? It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. That's 1 Corinthians 3 and 13. And I'm going to tell you, that you need to understand that when you're going through something and it doesn't feel comfortable, it doesn't feel like, you know, this is where you want to be, that you may be in the purification process. That's when you get separated from the wheat and from the chaff. What that means is you might have been growing up with some things that didn't belong, they didn't, but you got comfortable with them. Mm. You got comfortable with them. They were always there, but, you know, it wasn't that great. But it wasn't that bad. And then all of a sudden, the fire comes because God wants to purify that situation. He wants to separate you from the situation that is keeping you from your greatness. That fire is to come to make you shine brighter. Amen. And Couture says, Amen. And Melissa said, Wow, that car hit home with me big time. I'm grateful. Now, Shani, I need you to post your link. For real. Type in the link. Instead of typing in, it's in, and yes, healing and flavor, that's great. But type in your link so that people can go. Dr. Deborah has raised her hand and says she wants the spices. Yes, and Dr. Deborah, I will get you the link. I have it downstairs. I will definitely share it with you. But 
Um, and anyone else that wants it, if you inbox me, I'll give it to you. But Shani, today is Shout It Out Friday. And if you will provide us with your link, we will shout it out. The um, Brittany says, shout out to Dr. Deborah Dunson. She just ordered my latest bracelet set, red with silver letters. And it says, blood heals blood, saves blood sustains amen nice blood heals blood saves and blood sustains amen you better know it blood and is she real. ordered her set that's nice thank you shout dr deborah Dunstan. Absolutely. and thank you for shouting her out Brittany. Brittany's beads are beautiful and they come in three pieces typically with three sayings that go together i love 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 it katura thank you so much katura's link is out there gc capital steffers please put in there what you are promoting or what you're sharing gc capital steppers is the ministry of dance it allows you to get out of your comfort zone and get into fellowship with amazing coaches and instructors so that you can improve your capital your um chicago style do they do chicago they do chicago, chicago have you ever been at a party and there's this couple out there that just seem to be able to dance well and flow well. They got all their moves together. Where did they learn how to do that? Well, they took a class. That's right. They took a class with GC Capital Steppers of Charlotte. Very and, likely. Yes, and you can join GC Capital Steppers Charlotte for Chicago Stepping Class every Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. And they have two different levels. You can be a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. As a matter of fact, that's three, I think. But um, the address is 6128 Brookshire Boulevard in Charlotte. And then Chicago Steppers is a fun partner dance, uh, popular across the country. No worries if you don't have a partner. Don't let that stop you. Uh, we will switch in Don't wait class, up on your friends. yeah. Mm -hmm. So every person can partner up. Don't wait on your friends. We got you. We like to travel. We travel to Atlanta, Atlanta monthly to dance and surrounding areas. PayPal, Cash App only accepted. See you tonight. PayPal me and it's slash GC Capital Separate. That's tonight on Friday. I don't know. I thought she had on Wednesdays. It is on Wednesdays. But she says, see you tonight. Okay. All right. Well, good. Thank you for that information, Sister Katura, because they need to know it. Grown folks fun. Absolutely. Grown folks fun. Absolutely. You know, grown folks fun. No, that's our weekly advertising. Okay. okay. So you get to go to Charlotte on Wednesday. And which day is um, Columbia? I think they also have Columbia, South Carolina as well and she says that they also go to advance so they travel you can get in a class when you get in where you fit in that's right don't let anything i don't have a dance partner you don't worry sweat that. that they got that, you don't let that stop they you. got you amen, when amen. I, back in the day when i took those dance classes they um wanted every man to dance with at least 10 different women and why do you want to dance with 10 different women switching up dance with 10 different women because you get to learn your leading style better you get to practice better Mm -hmm. Columbia event is on Monday. Thank you for that clarification. Um, Brittany says, I do bracelets for all events, conferences, parties, church events, or if you just want a custom made jewelry, whatever you need, I have it. And she got it. Go to Brittany'sBeadsAndBooks.com and get it. I love that, Brittany. Thank you very much. Brittany, you kind of reminded us something that Lisa and I, we tell people all the time. Your book sells only when you sell your book. That's it. Okay. If you have a great book, great. But if you don't sell your book, it won't sell. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, the book I'm holding is called Asking for the Money. How anyone can close more sales, even you. Hmm. It's 94 pages long. That's it. 94 pages teaches you what to do before you ask for the money. What do you do when you ask for the money, what do you do if there's a little bit of resistance? What do you do if there's a lot of resistance? You know, it gives the reader confidence when it comes to asking for the money and overcoming objections. Like, what are you doing? Much, you doing your, I thought you were doing your finger like this, like with your mustache. It's like, what are you doing? No, <laughs> I was scratching my face. It looked, like, was, my face it looked like, like it looked like you was twisting your mustache for a second. Um, but that book is amazing. Now, there's another book I wrote also. It's called The Shortcut. The shortcut, the shortcut, the fastest route to selling your services better than you ever had before so that you can earn more money. 
than ever before. This book is only 74 pages. This book teaches you what to do to get a client. This, this book is a lot of cake and very little frosting. Absolutely. It tells you what to do on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays to get you a new client. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, amen, she goes, Brittany says, amen, nothing will sell if, if no, no one knows. knows. That's absolutely, right. absolutely. I am looking forward to tomorrow, tomorrow in Raleigh, North Carolina at the In the Black Summit. I am really looking forward to it. We were supposed to have a guest this morning, Ryan Ray, but he was, uh, I did not send out the notification soon enough. I'm going to take that on me. Um, but I, he will be in attendance tomorrow. He's excited too. And he is excited. And I'm looking forward to all of the speakers Ryan Ray, Dexter L. Scott, Cornella Renee Hill, Brian K. McNeil, Tony Moore, Tina Moore, and our comedian, Janine Slaughter. That's right. Yep. Janine Slaughter is going to bring the comedy. I'm looking forward to this whole thing. And we're going to get better at it because I want to keep doing them. We're going to get better at it too. That's the other thing continuous improvement. I love that thought that concept of getting better and better. Here's another thing that we can all do to help us to get better and better. There we go. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Shani. Shani. Uh, the thing we can do Kendo is Kendo Spice, or it's actually pronounced Kendo. Kendo Spice. Kendo Spice dot shop is where you can order the spices and seasonings and accessories for your cooking and healing needs. Go to Kendo Spice dot com. That and she shop. says, dot shop. I'm sorry, dot shop. She says, please repeat the scripture. Amen. From the card? Okay. Yeah. And I'm glad you posted because I thought it was a dash in it, Shani. Um, so thank you. Amen. And the scripture says, it will be revealed with fire. And the fire will test the quality of each person's heart. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13. And thank you, Brittany, for your support Absolutely. and your love. Um, we, Lisa and I do get to travel from time to time. Prayers when traveling is, is so important. We pray before we take off, you know, for traveling mercies because the roads can be dangerous. Um, your percentage of getting to a car accident goes up if you drive the highways, okay? And we see accidents from time to time. You know, praise God, we've never been any. So please, please, please continue to pray for us. As absolutely. we travel up and down the highways. Absolutely, absolutely. Somebody asked me yesterday, um, what do y'all do? What do y'all do for like vacations? Who, Lisa and I? Yeah. So and <laughs> and they also said, We always see you guys out doing stuff and you guys will go everywhere. We really don't go to a lot of places. We actually do a lot of work, but in our life balance, we have found ways to interject excitement and vacationing in our work yes almost every trip we take we're there to work but we play too absolutely you're very welcome shani thank you absolutely yep. absolutely whether we like denver you know we was there to work and we did work but we had a lot of vacation too atlanta we, we did work but we also had a lot of vacation too virginia beach we did work but we had a lot of vacation too uh, I spent the whole day on Tuesday in, um, in Virginia Beach, on the beach myself, you know, like the, all, all day I was on the beach. So that was a work trip, but all day. That's because Shawnee and Barbara kicked me out of all the lady functions. You ain't down, Brian. Get out of here. So I spent the whole day on the beach. That was my punishment. <laughs> Barbara did, uh, Brian did the same thing that I did to, to um, Barbara H. Smith as well. He just called her. Dr. Barbara, and I believe that that is prophetic because her mother was, uh, uh, I want to say, what's the word? Dubbed, she was pronounced queen, pronounced queen, queen mm -hmm. Agnes. Yes. And we celebrate her for that. Her mother, her mother is amazing. She's so loving, Warm, and caring, loving, and loving. kind, and amazing. Amen. Thank you, Shani. Thank you, Shani. But I'm telling you, uh, Barbara H. Smith, that doctor keep rolling off our tongues for a reason. <laughs> it does sound good. He keep rolling off our tongues it for a reason. Good. Amen. Just like Dr. Lisa Santiago McNeil, Lisa is actually in a doctorate program right now. She's taking her exam. She's reading, doing her curriculum. She's actually in a program to get her doctorate right now. So at some point, maybe next year or so, 
um, next year or so, it will be so that Lisa's Dr. Lisa Santiago. Absolutely, Mill. absolutely. Kendo spice, kendo spice dot shop, K E N D O spice dot S H O P. Now, Shawnee, Mr. George Allen, he's also known as Chef Rev. That's right, he is an anointed chef and, mm -hmm. a, and a caterer and cook and all that kind of stuff. And I can say that because we've been blessed by his food a few times, okay. And if he tries your stuff and endorses your stuff, Shani, your stuff would have been endorsed. I would tell you that right now. I really want uh, Chef Rev to try Shani's stuff. Absolutely. Y'all should connect, Shani, you and George. Absolutely, absolutely. One of the cool things I like about Shani Spices, um, Mr. Chef Rev, is they're designed for taste, but also nutrition. That's what a spice is for. They have healing properties and health properties. Absolutely. Um, she was, uh, uh, George was referring to the book about fasting from everything. Oh, that book was called Siddhartha, S-I-D-D-A-R-T-H-A. -D -D it's a classic book, Siddhartha. Absolutely. We got some goings on outside the window. That's why we keep on looking over there. We shouldn't be that distracted, but we are. It is time for us to thank you. What, what, what? Is that time already? And the way we thank you guys with greeting songs and with greeting logos. I'm glad Kat Ivy's here today. We get to do her jam. All right. Up first on my list was Couture. How about yours? No. It was Dr. Deborah. Okay. You guys hit it. Dr. Deborah song. Dr. Deborah, nonprofit strategist and funding coach. Mm. Mm. What we're doing now is our greeting songs and greeting logos. Some of you guys have earned it by being consistent contributors to the show and have been around the show for a while, like, like Dr. Deborah Dunstan. Katura Green was up next. She got a song too. Her song goes like this Back to life, back to Katura Green. However, do you want it? However, However do you need it? Do you need it? Sister Shirley D. Jeanette, we're going to find your jam and we're going to hope you help us do it. Absolutely. Because you deserve one, Shirley. Absolutely. Cat Ivy. Uh, Cat Ivy, she does it better. She makes sangria and see something too. <laughs> Come on, help me, baby. <laughs> That part, Cat I thought you was going to be there again. Does it better than you? <laughs> Is it reggae pasta or chicken pasta? I can't remember what it's called. But I know she does it better than, than you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Melissa's on, baby. <clears throat> yeah, let me do it. I'm not going to play. I want a good breakfast this morning. Bam 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 Melissa Zone. Now it's time for us to sing her song. Melissa Zone. Good morning, Miss Melissa Price, the head usher of Let's Talk About It. George Allen is here, Chef Rev. George Allen, also known as Chef Rev, his jam goes like this. Why must I cook like that? Why not hire Chef Rev? He puts the good food in me. Not, 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 not. The other day, someone asked, Is Chef Rev going to be cooking for the holidays? Uh -huh. Of course he is. <laughs> That's what he does. Stephanie Morris. Stephanie Morris has a jam. Stephanie. Life has new meaning to me. There is beauty up above. And, and things we, we never, never take, take notice of. of. You wake, wake up and Stephanie, Stephanie you're in love. love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Brittany Thomas has a jam as well. It's Brittany. It's Brittany. It's Brittany. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany Thomas. Thomas. It's Brittany. It's Brittany. It's Brittany. Brittany. It's your time. It's your time, yeah. Shirley says her song was happy with good morning. Really? I thought that was Pamela Coleman. Yeah. Pamela Coleman makes us happy. That's Papa Long. Yeah. Shirley says it was happy with good morning. We have to... <coughs> 
if we don't, if we get you a song and we don't reinforce it, we're gonna lose it. And like I came up with a song for myself. Um, uh, good morning, success, or good morning, something, and I didn't reinforce it. I don't know. Yep. I don't know. Surely I'm gonna have to get it back. I can't. I lost it. I have to get it back. Shawnee, um, you keep coming. You are gonna get you a jam as well. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I'm trying to see where some stuff came in. Rasta pasta. That's right. Okay. What um um cat ivy. Cat ivy. She does it better. She, she makes, makes angrier. angrier. And, and Rasta, Rasta pasta, pasta too. Cat ivy. She does, does it better than you. you. <laughs> That's all right, cat. How about that, cat? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Shawnee says, Chef Rev, let's do it. Absolutely connect. Dr. Beverly, thank you for coming. She said, I made it. We're glad you made it, Dr. Beverly. Oh, it's on the show. I know what you said at first. She said, I made it. Who, who, I'm looking for who said they made it. Do I said good morning, Dr. Beverly. Okay, but Dr. Beverly. It's, it's on, on the, the show. show. Good morning, Dr. Beverly. Absolutely, guys. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Dr. Is, Beverly, in a couple of minutes we have left, is there any skills or things that, that you wish that you wish that you, you would just be at. so much better at mm -hmm. and would change your life? Cat loves it good. Absolutely. We love it too. How about what telling people what you do? Getting better at telling people what you do. Mm -hmm. Maybe that would be a skill that you want to get better at because we're a moving, sliding, slipping, easing into the holiday season. And many of you are on here on Shout It Out Friday and you have not shouted out your business. You do not have your website ready to make sales for this Black Dr. Friday. Dr. says finance. Yeah. We're going to say I it one more it. time. It's the poor frog. Poor frog. That will not praise its own pond. Okay. You got to let people know what's so good about where you are and what you have. Very many, many times we are trying to do something bigger, 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 right? So, what about the fact that um, Netflix is a multi million dollar company and their product sells, started out selling for $8.99 yeah. a month? And now it's like $14.99 a month. We talked about this before. Sometimes we're trying to sell so, so much at one time. But what about a subscription? What about a taste test, Shani? What about a subscription, uh, Dr. Beverly? What about a subscription to something that you do that you only send out a small amount every month for people to get a taste of mm. what it is that you do for a smaller amount of of the cost, and then they can order a regular size after they've had an opportunity to taste it. But they're doing those subscription boxes and a lot of things, makeups come in subscriptions, cigars come in subscriptions, wines come in subscriptions. All of those things are giving you the opportunity to get a little taste. It's a way of lowering your client's risk. We talked about it last night in the webinar. Your clients get bombarded with stuff every day and all kinds of things are conspiring to separate your clients from their money. So the people who have figured out a way to lower the risk factor, they get more market share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you lower their risk with, before they have to spend a hundred dollars on you? Can they spend 10? Right. Okay. And you have the tools. The tools are already integrated in any web design that you have, any websites that you have. And if you don't have one yet, you can get the forever free website and I can help you to build it. And it will come with the option for you to create subscriptions. And guess what? If you don't even have products and you want to be able to sell something, then you can do some integrations that will allow you to sell somebody else's stuff and still get paid a percentage of it just by sharing the link. Hey, man, it's 9.52 and it's Friday. This is the weekend. Let your weekend. Let your weekend. Let your weekend, entrepreneurs, especially you, entrepreneurs. Absolutely. Let this weekend. Don't make it drag into next week. Um, Miss Phyllis. Good morning, Miss Phyllis. Miss Phyllis is here. So clear the way. Miss Phyllis is here. Now we can all have a great day. Absolutely. Couture, I love that song. Her quote, last quote of the day, it says, I want to dance with somebody. I want to go to the beat with somebody. I want to dance 
dance with somebody, with somebody, with GC Capital Steppers. Ooh, GC Capital Steppers. Ooh. <laughs> and Katura said it just came. I to love me. it. I love it. I love it. Good. All right, we we gotta love go. you. We appreciate you. It's Friday. So, you know, by any means necessary, 